formal versus informal in Russian. You have to know how not to be rude to people of respect, but at the same time, not be too formal with your friends. There's a lot to cover within this topic, but I'll challenge myself to teach it all in just under 10 minutes. Let's see if I can do it. First things first, formal language is used whenever we have to show that distance or that respect that we have for another person, which can be a stranger on the street, your boss, your teacher, your in-laws, your parents' friends, just a person who is working at the moment, people at work, and just elderly people in general. Those are the typical categories of a formal language. We have to show our respect for them, and that's why we're gonna use formal language. And informal is used when we don't need to show that respect or that distance between us and the other person. That can be your friends, your immediate family, like of course your siblings, your parents, your uncles, your aunts, your grandparents, though distant family are more like strangers to you, right? So you might need to use formal with them. If you're a professor, you can refer to your students informally too, even though sometimes at the university level, they're grown adults. So sometimes professors will still use formal language with their students. So formal is when you show respect, Informal is when that respect is not really needed. But why do you need to know whether you are in a formal setting or informal setting? Well, that's because Russian language has to adjust. We have to change our words a little bit, modify them depending on the formality of the situation. In particular, we're gonna have to change our verbs, our greetings, even people's names, and personal pronouns. All of them will change depending whether you are in an informal or formal situation. Let's start with the verbs. All verbs in Russian have to be adjusted to formality and formal verbs will take on plural forms across all conjugations. For example, let's take a verb igrat. Igrat means to play. Igrat in present tense is igrayesh for informal, igrayeti for formal, past tense is igral for masculine informal or igrala for feminine informal, but for formal is igrali. Future, same thing. Budish igrat is informal. Budite igrat is formal. Now, one in particular that people typically overlook or students overlook is the imperative forms or the commands when you say play, go ahead and play, okay? Informal is igrai, formal is igrai. Tier. And in particular, one phrase that this is used a lot in, and I see a lot of students make this mistake, and I cringe a little bit inside, but it's the phrase Buď zdarov, which means bless you. Buď zdarov is informal, and to say it formally is Buďte zdarov. Take a note of this and never make this mistake again. That's all about verbs, now let's talk about greetings. Whenever you see someone, how should you greet them? Using formal or informal language. For the informal words, we have привет, здравствуй, and здорово. Привет and здравствуй mean hello. Здорово is mostly like what's up, which is more of a slang expression. Now, formal ones are gonna be all other greetings that you may know of, which is Здравствуйте, доброе утро, добрый день. Здравствуйте means hello, доброе утро means good morning, добрый день means good afternoon, and all other ones that you may know of, we can also put them in the formal category. Now, when saying goodbye to people, the only informal one is пока. Пока means bye. The only informal one. Formal ones, again, are all the rest of goodbyes. До свидания, goodbye, увидимся, we'll see each other, до встречи, until next time, and all the rest that you may know of can also be put in the formal category. But once you greet a person, what name should you call them? How should you address them? Let's talk about names next. Next is names, which is very interesting. We almost never address another person by their last name like this. Господин Смирнов, можно у вас спросить кое-что? Да, господин Иванов, спрашивайте. That would just sound weird. We never address a person by their last name. Mr. Smirnov, Mr. Ivanov. We do it differently. Let me do it over. Сергей Витальевич, можно у вас спросить кое-что? Да, Михаил Степанович, спрашивайте. We use full first name plus patronymic. So, Сергей Витальевич, 
Mikhail Stepanovich, the first words are going to be full first names of those people. Now, the second words are going to be patronymics, which is your father's name slightly modified. Let's talk about that modification just a little bit. For example, my father's name is Alexei. That's why my patronymic is Alexeyevich. Okay, Alexeyevich right here. If the name was Sergei, patronymic of that name would be Sergeyevich, Alexander, Alexandrovich, and Andrei, Andreevich. That Vich at the end is an ending or sign of a patronymic. But these are patronymics for guys. Now, for ladies, patronymics will be slightly different. Alexeyevna, Sergeyevna, Alexandrovna, and Andreevna. That vna at the end is going to be a sign of a patronymic for ladies. So we use full first name plus patronymics that are right here to show the ultimate sign of respect. The most formal way you can address someone is full first name plus patronymic. Almost entirely used to refer to your professor or teacher, to your boss, or someone who is directly above you in any other social kind of interaction. But a step down from that, semi-formal would be referring to someone by their first name, full first name, such as Irina, Svetlana, Alexei, or Fyodor. These are just four examples of a Russian name. You refer to a person, maybe a store associate. You come in a store, you talk to them. On the phone with the support person, maybe just a stranger on the street, you refer to them by their full first name. We almost never use patronymic for that. That would be just simply too formal for the setting. So step down, semi-formal, full first name. But what about informal settings? How should I refer to my friends? For informal settings, we have shorter versions of all names in Russian. For example, my name is Fyodor, full name. Short name is Fedya. As you can see, it's much shorter. Alexei is going to be Lyosha. Maria is going to be Masha, maybe Victoria is going to be Vika. As you can see, they're much shorter, and that's the names that we use to refer to our friends. And all Russian names are going to have their own shorter variations. Think of this as Jonathan being shortened to just simply John. So that's all the formal, semi-formal, and informal ways of calling someone by their name. And if you don't know how to properly call them, just ask a question. Как к вам обращаться? How may I refer to you? That's the phrase. But notice this вам here. It means you. It's a personal pronoun and it is formal or is it informal? Let's talk about personal pronouns next. Personal pronouns is how you pretty much address a person as you. We have two different yous. One for formal person, one for informal person. Ты is informal you. Well, we is a formal you, which you might have heard of these two, but have you heard of the whole table? The whole cases table for each of them? You might have not. And even if you don't know cases, I'm pretty sure that you have heard a few phrases that one of these forms are used. For example, I can say, Я тебя не слышу. I don't hear you. Тебя is you in this sentence, and it's informal. And another sentence is, У меня для вас посылка. I have a package for you. So для вас is for you formal. Again, using вас from this table, it means a formal you. Now the you know all the ways that language changes depending on formal versus informal settings. One question still remains. What if I don't know whether I'm supposed to use formal or informal with this particular person? What should I do? I think it's safe to go in using formal language. Because you don't know them, then the native will correct you if that's needed. However, you can ask these two questions if you want to switch from formal to informal and vice versa. First question is, можно на ты? Can we do it on ты? Which is, can we do informal? Between me and you, can we speak informally? The opposite one is, можно на вы? Can we do it on formal or can we say вы to each other? 
Those are two questions that we ask whenever we want to switch from one informal to formal or vice versa. And that's it about formal versus informal in Russian. And yes, we did it in either 10 minutes. It's 9.58 on the timer right now. We did it, challenge fulfilled. But we touched on slang just slightly today. However, for you to speak Russian better, you need to know slang because we talk in slang a lot. Russians speak slang a lot. And this video will help you understand slang much more. Click it now and learn all the slang expressions that you would need.